Well, hi everyone, it's Christy, and I am here on a really sad day, but I am joined with other people who are, um, are touched by the tragedy that has, has, has befallen our, yes, our YouTube community. And before I, I introduce my, my many guests, I'll let them go through one by one. Um, we're here today to talk about the life of, of Poison Ivy, of the skeptic feminist, Heather, as those of us who knew her on Facebook and, you know, off, offline knew her. And to start off, I actually, one person wasn't able to join this hangout tonight. And before we go any farther, I wanted to read this out uh, on behalf of the ranting feminist. It's, it's dedicated to Heather. She writes, I had subscribed to the skeptic feminist about a year ago now, which is where I first saw Heather. I had the privilege of speaking to her a few times on Facebook, and one thing I remember is how she had a tendency to see the best in people and to eschew drama, instead of trying to bring people together with her content. She met an unfortunate end recently, and I do believe that we should not speculate on any specifics until all the facts come out. Regardless of the circumstances, it was really too soon for her to leave this world. In light of the circumstances, it has made it a lot harder to accept that this has happened. From my interactions with Heather, as well as watching her videos, I do believe that what she would want right now is for us as a community is to focus on the positives and to remember her as she was. So I hope today that my fellow feminists who are fortunate enough to live in a time zone that allows them to talk at this specific hour will do just that. Today, honor her memory by remembering the gentle, kind person she was. Heather has inspired me in many ways. And if it weren't for, the, for strong women like her being brave enough to speak out on YouTube, I probably wouldn't have had the courage to make my channel. A family has lost a daughter. Many have lost a friend. And sadly, we have all lost a voice in this community that was often the voice of reason, the one to calm us down and to make us come together. Sorry, I hope that we can all make it through this difficult time together. And I'm willing to support Heather's family, as well as Harley and Athena, in any way I can from this day forward. Should Harley, Athena, or Heather's family be watching this, please do know that you can get in touch or get in contact with me if you need any support I can help with. Thank you, The Ranting Feminist. So, All right. Um, I guess maybe I hadn't really thought too much about how to do this, but I guess turn taking is, is maybe the easiest, at least at first, um, you know, uh, the ranting feminist gave us a good instruction to focus on Heather and her life. So perhaps if we could start and in my, from my camera, it starts with blissful melancholy and then goes to Christiosity and then the woolly bumblebee. If it's all right, I'll just call on you guys. If you could say a few words about your how you got to know Heather and um, what you thought of her, and then we'll we'll go down the line if that's okay. Yeah. And maybe if everybody else could mute themselves when someone else is talking, and then unless it's your turn for the talk turn taking thing, so we'll start with with blissful melancholy, and let us know when you're done so I can tell someone it's their turn next. Ah, uh, sure. Well, I didn't know Heather well personally, but I did watch their channel, and I was always uh, very touched by, well, for one thing, like her love of animals. She, um, I thought, and, and the fact that she was a polyamorous atheist on YouTube was very important to me, and I was like, wow, I've never seen anybody <laughs> like that before, and um, just, sorry, I'm um it's okay i just i was always very impressed by her ability to interact with seemingly like anybody and everybody with ease and um like how you said like find the good in in everybody and yeah that was something i admired about her all right, thanks. Chrissyosity, you're you're up next. Oh, you're still on mute, by the way. We can't hear you. Sorry, I'm Hello. losing everything. Um, so
So I, they were one of the first channels to sort of notice me when I came onto YouTube and um, they were, uh, you know, I, I got to know the three of them and I, I obviously got to know, um, I got to know Heather a little better um, than the other just because, I don't know, we, um, We didn't agree on everything, but uh, I loved the way that she talked about things. She was very patient and gentle. She took her time um, explaining the way that she thought about things. She was very sincere, very kind. Um, there's a there was a wisdom about her um and uh, i don't know i just um am not expressing well uh she's she was i was telling uh mike the only person who actually knew my real name um because we had just had conversations and and things happened so we ended up um just uh, giving information back and forth and for me that was a major point of trust because I don't give anybody my real name because I'm, you know just the whole YouTube thing um, but I, I trusted her just absolutely implicitly um, because she had that that um, aspect of her that you just knew that she could be that she would be trusted, that she could be, um, she wouldn't. Uh, I, I think about things like um, she was losing weight. She was, uh, she'd gotten below 180 pounds and and she was so proud of herself and she was doing so many healthy things and she was just apartment hunting and it's all so very horrible to think that somebody could be that alive and positive and vibrant and then and just gone and um yeah i found out about it on twitter I wanted to uh, say something to, about the ranting feminist that she, I felt really bad um, because she found out about it um, from seeing a meme. Oh no. Um, which I, I can't, it, I, it's just such a blow. Um, I had tried, I think a lot of us had tried to reach out to different people in the community because she was very important to the community and, and send messages and and tell people things and you know you just you don't get to everybody or you you're not thinking really so um, I do think that Heather every time I want to get really uh, awful um, I remember that Heather would yeah, She's up there in Femhala just face palming at my stupidity and she would want um she would want us to be nice to each other cuz it's always what she wants she always wanted us to be nice to each other she never <laughs> and she was always right we never were we never were that nice um we're not nice enough to each other there are some anti fems i promised um to mention uh, at Schmeckel uh, is going to be getting together a video just to sort of give their love. And, and they always reached out to other people. They always reached out to the other side. Um, sorry, that's all I have. That's all I got. That's, no, that was beautiful. Wooly, I know that she was really, really important to you and that she touched your life. Yeah, um, when I, well, actually, it's it's kind of a bit of a long story, but I'll, I'll try not to ramble on too much. But I first met them 
when um, I was sort of reaching across the aisle to um, when I was an anti-feminist to feminists. Um, and I first reached out to Micaiah and then to the skeptic feminist and they were always just so welcoming. They, they, you know, it didn't matter that we didn't agree on everything. They just, they were so welcoming and it, it was, it was a real pleasure to talk to them. Um, and so I started, uh, you know, having conversations, you know, in DMs with them about, you know, life and stuff like that. Um, and I got to know Heather a bit more than the others. Um, and like Chrissy said, you know, she had the type of personality where, you know, you felt you felt at ease, you felt comfortable, you knew she wasn't someone that was, you know, going to, you know, take what you said and, and betray you or anything like that. Um, and so, you know, I, I shared with her personal stuff, um, you know, and it was during a time when, you know, I was having a bit of a crisis with the personal stuff that was going on in my family. Um, you know, it was pretty rough and she was, she was just really there for me. Um, she listened, she gave me a shoulder to cry on when I needed it. She gave me, you know, positive, you know, messages, messages of love and, you know, you can do this, you can get through it. And she was just, I mean, I know it's not making sense cause I'm not saying what it was, but I just don't want to put it out there because I know certain people will just jump on it. Sure. Um, but yeah, she, she was amazing. Um, and the way I found out about what happened, um, was, I think it was Tim or Mike. I'm not, I'm not sure which one they were arguing about, you know, the, the, the situation going on. I said, what's going on? Like, what you know I had no idea what was going on um and then people told me on Twitter and I was just I I, I couldn't believe it I was just shocked I you know and even now even now it's, it's really still surreal it's like you know I, I still have a hard time sort of coming to grips with the fact that it actually happened. And I think one of the worst parts is I've talked to um, one of Heather's very good personal friends um, in DMs and I've, you know, shared personal stories and stuff with them about Heather and this and that. And I, I told uh, her friend, I said, you know, one of the one, one of the things that kills me is that I was going to give her a really good update to some of the stuff that we had been talking about in DMs and stuff she was supporting me with. And, and I just, I wanted to give her that update, um, you know, that things were going really good and, you know, tell her about it. And I, I don't have that opportunity to tell her. And I know she would have loved to have heard like how things were going. Um, and that, that just, it, it totally sucks that, she doesn't get to hear that because I want to tell her, you know, you were a really huge, you know, reason why I didn't break down completely, why I didn't, you know, just lose my shit all over the place. You know, she, she really did help me a lot. Um, and I'll never forget that, you know, I'll never, I'll never forget that she was there for me during one of the most important times in my life um so yeah i i'll I, I won't forget her for that and i won't forget her for her positivity and her love her compassion her understanding she was just she was amazing and like i said it's kind of surreal that she's gone yeah i know I know how you feel. I think we all feel that little bit of somehow the world's not right. Like this, this doesn't make sense. You know, this, this shouldn't be happening. Yeah. Kevin, you're, you're up next just to let you know. And your mic, you're muted. Yeah. I can't hear him. Can you, can you guys hear him? 
No. Turn your mic on, Kev. No sound. Zero sounds. I saw that he swore, so I think he's aware of it. <laughs> No, no. You just go to Michael and come back to Kevin. If I don't know. yeah, Kev making no noises. He's flailing, so I don't know. Maybe we should <laughs> come back. He him? could. Uh, he could leave the hangout and come back. Try turning it off and on again. Yeah. It crowd here. Yeah. Oh, could you guys hear me? <laughs> All right. Uh, now. Yeah, move on to the next person. Yep, that's right. Okay. okay, so go ahead, Michael. Oh, is it me? Okay. Yep. Um, hi everyone. <laughs> uh, yeah, you guys, you guys said a lot of uh, a lot of stuff that I was thinking as well. Um, uh, the skit, uh, what, are, what are they called? The the, the skeptic, yeah, the skeptic, feminist. skeptic feminist. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, yeah, they um, they really helped me get started um, as part of. The social job. I, I mean, I, I don't know. I, I mean, I probably would have met you guys at some point, um, had it not been for them. But, but, um, uh, it might have been a lot longer. And uh, before I was um, sort of introduced to to you lot. So, so the the skeptic feminist um, welcomed me into the community when I first started doing social justice stuff. Um, and uh, introduced me to, to many of you guys, so that you know, I'm I'm very thankful uh, for them for that. And and Heather specifically, um, her and I talked um, quite often, um, you know, in, in private messages and things like that. Um, it, it, yeah, because we we got on pretty well on a personal level. Um, like like someone said, she has a love for animals, which I really dig. Um, and she was just very kind and, and and caring and supportive of 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 what I did, and the things I you know um, things that I do on my channel and whatnot. Um, and uh, I, I hadn't I hadn't talked I hadn't talked with her in a, in a while, uh, but I'd I'd seen like Christy said posts and stuff on 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 the Facebook. Uh, of her, like really being awesome, you know, like say like lo losing weight and, um, uh, you know, the apartment thing, just just all this awesome stuff, <laughs> and it just it makes no sense. I, I saw the I, I woke up, um, I woke up the other morning whenever it was, and it had happened like five hours or so before I was awake, and I I sort of saw it bits and pieces. And I I saw that 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 the attack had happened, but I didn't know who was who was a victim or whatever. And then someone someone sent me a uh, um a, a a a message on Twitter, um, and and said that that Heather had been shot, and I I, I didn't believe. I was like, what? How, how do you? How can you possibly know that? And I just I I had. I, I didn't know what to do. It was just the fucking worst thing ever. So, you know, she, yeah, she was a very special person. She was a very kind and caring special person. Um, and an important part of, of, uh, of my life to some degree. And I just, I, I, I still don't believe it. <laughs> it's, even though I haven't, I've, I've never met her in person. Um, I, I hoped I would at some point. Uh, but no, yeah, so, yeah, thanks. Yeah, thanks for that, right. Michael. Uh, Kevin, you wanna? I think we were we could hear you. So if you wanna step up back and yeah, you're back. Yeah, I'm back. Okay, uh, apologies. Um, Sorry. Yeah, I was. Um, Heather was a, a, an amazingly warm person. Um, I, I remember uh, uh, when there, there had been a, a, a small argument between myself and. Um, Another member of the the, the TSF team, and uh, she she played um, peacemaker in the most glorious way. Um, 
and it, it sort of for me it summed up like i said the warmth of the person really and the the, the her love for animals as well is it was something i always was hugely uh, admired in her um especially um with the fact that she was so fond of rats i quite liked because it seemed that the rat is uh, you know seen potentially as, as not, not the first choice for pets or whatever but she took them in and and um and gave gave them a loving home in a really beautiful way and one of the things that that warmed my heart was to know that those rats were okay that they found loving homes in the uh, in the wake of her passing um yeah I, I apologize for um, my my lack of any uh, flow. Um, I think we're all choked, we're all struggling. Choked up by it all, yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I'm not always the most fluent of people at the best of times, but I I think it would be unfitting to do what feels natural, which is just to fucking scream. Mm. So, I think I'll just stay quiet instead. All right, Tim. Um, it's your turn to, mm. yeah. Well, I mean, I've been thinking about um, my experience with Heather and, um, you know, I mean, I gotta be honest, like I never really, um, I guess got along very well with the Skeptic Fem Feminist channel. Like their content didn't really like appeal to me that much, but I was kind of on friendly terms with them. And then, um, one day, like all three of them produced a video, which I strongly disagreed with. And I just started getting into like a massive fight with like Russian Deadpool, basically. And we were just flinging insults back and forth and, um, relationship kind of broke down, but then, um, you know, I was on Facebook and I just started uh, chatting with Heather and she was just like, you know, it's kind of like silly that we're having this fight or like we're having this conflict and everything. And, we should be able to sort it out. So it's just like, yeah, you know, we should, we should have a hangout and have a talk about it or something. And then on my channel, you can see that, um, you know, we just, uh, talked through it cause she reached out to me and we, you know, started talking and chatting and she was just like incredibly just like kind and, and friendly and, and, uh, she's just such an incredibly, uh, just sweet person and out of, uh, you know, the skeptic feminist, she was always, she was the one that I could, uh, talk to and she was the one that I, uh, you know, kind of had a relationship with to some extent, like, and, um, yeah, I mean, like what Kevin said about her being a, a bridge builder and stuff is just, uh, you know, that's what really stands out to me because, um, you know, if I hadn't talked to her on Facebook and sort of chatted about all that, you know, it just would have been you know, downward, downward spiral in the relationship. And, but she was like, you know, let's talk about it. Let's sort it out. And yeah, I mean, she was just that kind of person. She's like very warm and very, uh, loving and friendly. And, um, I'm just, I don't know, quite sad that I won't get the opportunity to talk to her again. Cause, um, she's just an incredibly kind person. So, I mean, when I heard the news, I was just trying not to have a breakdown all day, basically. So, I mean, yeah, that's, that's my experience with her. So, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, you know, I, there's a theme coming up that I'm going to reinforce, which is Heather is a, a warm person who sort of, you know, built bridges. Um, if she was yeah, because we, we, uh, we would have just kept going on fighting if it wasn't for her being like, hey, let's sit mm -hmm. down and have a chat about it. And I was just, I was like, you know, I may have just I've misjudged these guys because she is so warm and so understanding and friendly. I kind of felt like an idiot. Like what was I doing fighting with these people? <laughs> you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Sounds. Hey, we've got, um, mix up mix here. Just joined. This is great. Um, yeah. So Mick, we are just going around with, with our, our memories of, of Heather. And since you just joined in, maybe I'll give mine. And then you can jump in with yours, unless you're kind of ready I'll to go. Just, but I, can I, oh yeah. Can I just? In, yeah. Sorry, can I just interject, Tim? You're breaking my heart, man. I just, oh, I want to hug you, like a, a sweet teddy bear or something. And you're too far away. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> what can you do? 
This has been, I think, uh, I mean, that, that is all open. it's a horrific, been a horrific week for all of us. And obviously for everybody who knew her and her family. So it's, yeah. Yeah. But we've all been doing this through typing onto a keyboard or on our phones or on our laptops or computers. And I just felt like we needed to remember her in person as much as we can, <laughs> you know. Hmm. Well, I mean, like when I re- we were when I watched my hair out with her, I felt like half the time I was sad and then the other half of the time I was just like laughing because uh, we were just having like such a good interaction. It was like, it was a good memory, you know? Yeah, 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 I do. Yeah. Okay. Hey. This, was, that, was that everything, Tim, for now? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Well, to give Mick a little chance to kind of get his thoughts, um, yeah, I, I kind of the same as what, you know, um, other people have said here. In terms of the skeptic feminist, I was closer to her than anybody else in the group. Um, and we weren't like, you know, she was she was my Facebook friend. We'd done hangouts together. You know, I was I would never have hesitated to drop her a line. I know that most recently we had an exchange over um, my, she really liked the costume I wore to Carnival. And so we had a chat about that because she's, you know, did cosplay and things. Um, but yeah, she was the kind of person that, you know, I was, mis- I was trained as a massage therapist. She did massage therapy. Um, and you just have to have, you know, to do that kind of work, you need a warm heart. You need to, to really key into what other people are going through. And, and um, you know, there was that, uh, there was some kind of, a fallout with the sort of the skeptic feminist and some other people kind of in, in our community. And, and she was the one person that I stayed in contact with, you know, repetitive, you know, like on a, on a, on a more regular basis. And like, like Chrissy was mm-hmm. saying, you know, she to just posted about the weight she lost and she'd fit into some clothes that she hadn't won, worn in years. And she was so pleased with herself. And there were just so many, like, yeah, I think there was, there were no negative associations. Well, she didn't. She didn't want to shut people off. She wanted to talk about things. She wanted to reach out and uh, have dialogue with people, and uh, yeah. that's what was so impressive about her to me. I was just like, you know, even if her group is fighting with people, she would still reach out and be like, "Hey, let's have, let's talk about it." So, yeah. Yeah. So, um, Mick, if you're ready, if you have a, a little something you want to share, yeah, bring yourself off mute and when you're ready. Um, yeah, I unlike a lot of you guys, I wasn't as close with her, but one of the things that I definitely remember is that when I was, because I started out as a, like a religion channel is how I started out. And it was thanks to her videos and her speaking up and showing that you can rock the boat without capsizing it, that I actually started to go, Hey, why am I, why am I constantly playing it safe, afraid to, afraid to rock the boat? And I started speaking up about social issues and she was one of the ones who was right there at the beginning while I was getting my feet under me going, yeah, keep going. These are great. And it, it was kind of that whole, that encouragement when I needed it and constructive criticism when I needed it that I, I always remember from her. And also it was her videos and I, the rest of the skeptic feminists as well, but a lot of her videos talking about uh, relationships and talking about basically being strong, even when you're not feeling strong and her, her words of encouragement that really, um, to be honest, it kept me going sometimes. And even when I was like, Hey, I, I don't know if I can keep doing this. I just get this little message and it was like, Hey, this is, this is Ivy. Keep going. You're doing great. And I'm like, yay. Senpai noticed me. <laughs> I feel like. And it was honestly, thanks to her talking about polyamorous relationships and dealing with the ins and outs of it and answering questions that I had of her that actually made me become more open to, to the idea because it, it's basically, it was the whole love is love. Stop, 
stop viewing it as completely sexual, stop viewing it as to be in a relationship equals sex. And it, strange as it sounds, I'm actually now in a poly relationship with my husband and a very close friend. And even though I'm asexual, there's still that love, there's the companionship. And if it wasn't for talking with her and getting these questions answered, I would have never taken that plunge, so to speak. Yeah, uh, sorry to interrupt again, but I, was, you know, I think that's an important point that I did mention that she and the, the whole Skeptic Feminist team taught me a lot about that and did open me up to the concept, which yeah. seemed it seems alien to me at the time, but now it works, you know? I know, you know, obviously before that we learned about all this it, it was it was it was unusual to me too but but you know with very quickly i was just sort of thinking of the you know the them as a as a, as a unit they were just you know together and and it wasn't weird or strange it was just that's that's how they organized that's how they loved um so yeah i can i can relate to them what you guys are saying on that one all I right think, so um, i guess maybe yeah, well, maybe we can maybe take our mics off and, and have a more free discussion if people are just willing to yeah, let other yeah. people speak. So, I, um, Hello. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the thing Hi. about um, about the polyamorous is uh, it takes a person. It was amazing to me how um, watching her in a relationship because she always kept herself and yet she had so much to give to other people and she could give to to more than one person without jealousy without rancor without like there was never an ego thing going on with heather and let's face it we're we're all very there's a lot of egos going on in youtube in general but, but <laughs> heather was not was never like that. Her ego was never assertive or prominent. She was always capable of listening to another point of view. She, but she could, I mean, she would give you constructive criticism. It would be nice, but she would give you criticism. She knew what she was about. She didn't. And just because other members of Skeptic Feminist thought one way or, or did one thing, she made up her own mind, you know, she always, so it wasn't like, I, I think people could very easily misrepresent what their relationship was like, uh, you know, and I don't want to get into that, but, um, you know, she had a lot of dignity. She knew herself. She knew what she was about. She didn't, she just wasn't jealous about love. She just had a very uh, capacity to give a lot of love and that that was who well she was. if you watch videos with her in them um she's like the most relaxed person she's also chill like. yeah she's so That's chill she's yeah. just like yeah. always just so chilled out all the time like it's i'm yeah. a bit jealous <laughs> <laughs> i wish i was capable of that i like that yeah yeah but uh yeah and and understanding as well like willing very willing to listen she was always, uh, she always tried to convince me, um, because I'd always say about how much I love their rats. And I was like, because I used to have rats as well. And so I would um, uh, vibe on the fact that they had these rats. And I was always like, I can't get any now because I travel so much for, for work and whatnot, right? And she's like, you just got to get them as, um, they had them as like, you know, companion pets or something. You know, they're, they're like comfort pets and you're allowed to take them on planes and stuff. Oh, <laughs> and so really? She, yeah, so they kept she kept that. trying to convince me to get some yeah. some rats that I could just. Do you like, need a permit for some shit? Like I need yeah, this yeah, little something like it. You yeah, get they, a doctor's note, basically, is what yeah. you get saying that oh, yeah, you yeah. need them for therapy or for depression. <laughs> I actually had companion guinea pigs, so like, I need yeah, the marijuana <laughs> for back pain. Awesome. I, think I'm, I think I'm right in saying that Harley has um, a therapy cat, which she takes basically everywhere with her. Yeah, it's, it's just the awesome. best. Yeah. Right. I, got, I got to turn Balthazar into a therapy. <laughs> he wouldn't like that though. I'd be like, why, why do you keep fucking taking me everywhere? <laughs> I want to go on the plane. Leave yeah. me alone, Tim. I want to go home, damn it. 
<laughs> exactly. You're already making weird videos with me, Tim. Just fucking stop. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, that's the pot calling the kettle black there, Kevin. It, it was <laughs> idea. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Daniel, my, my, cat is, my cat is French and it talks, so that's not weird. <laughs> Kim can't have Balthazar as a therapy cat because I'm going to steal it eventually anyway. Look, the videos were his idea. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's what he you wanted. Down. He, he scripted them. Now, Tim, I would need to talk about this. Uh, I've got some ideas for a video. Meow. And then, is that how it went? Huh? Is that the conversation you had? Oh, yeah, yeah. Basically, and some yeah. Sniffing no, I thought he took over. He just um, puts thoughts into Tim's brain. That's how it <laughs> He does that thing where, where you boop someone. He, like, he like boops his face onto Tim and transfers thoughts that way. Oh. Cool. <laughs> also, also, I noticed with the with the Skeptic Feminist Pets, like they had, um, was it like a cat and a dog and a rat, and they are all just frolicking they together. Like, fucking massive yeah. menagerie. Yeah, it was awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. None, of, none of the animals have any issue with each other, so the animals are polyamorous as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The, the, big old ginger, the big old ginger cat. I don't know, David, they're poly. So the big poly old ginger animal. animal. Hey. Poly animal. <laughs> the big cat used to, used to curl speak. up with the rats. The big cat yeah. used to just curl up with rats and stuff, which I've yeah. never ever seen with any cat ever. It's amazing. Right? Yeah. It's awesome. Yeah, they'd always post photos on Facebook, and I'd see, yeah, but just the rats being all together. Didn't they have a ferret as well? Maybe. Yes. I can't remember. Mm. Oh, yeah, just they yeah. And they all had like amazing names as well. Like after. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The video that I put out today with the most updated information on her memorial service. I was like, I was looking for photos, and I was like, oh, I've got to get the rat photos in there because. Yeah. Yeah. I just uh, yeah, I just looked at I just um oh, I just looked at the last message that I had from Heather on Facebook um and she said that uh, I'm her favorite Kiwi. You're not. <laughs> oh, uh. <laughs> well, pwned Tim. That's it. <laughs> That's what it is. Yeah, but, but Michael, did you mean uh, your favorite favorite Kiwi bird or favorite Kiwi fruit? <laughs> <laughs> I, I am a bit of a fruit, let's be honest. <laughs> is there, um, I was wondering, Christy, is there, um, you said that the family was going to talk about an, offic an official or like a charity that they were endorsing or something. Right. That's but right. But that's not, not ready? That's not yeah. there yet? So I think what they did first was they made the funeral arrangements. Now this is inference based on what they've posted on the Facebook page, but I think their main concern was the physical and logistical arrangements of her funeral. Um, and yeah. then they're going to be making the other arrangements and announcements about like donations and where people could send flowers or if there's a charity that's going to be set up in her name because, um, you know, all those things kind of need to be arranged. But um, the last thing that her mom posted was that the service is going to be on the date that I announced and a few more details on, on the location and whatnot that are publicly available, but I'm not going to put out on YouTube. Um, but uh, then that she just wanted to have um, some privacy and some rest and would be updating yeah. us closer. So I'm sure by the 25th we'll know um, by the day of her memorial. And I was also thinking maybe we could um, use this time. I don't know if, if people here would want to do something, you know, like put up, either her photo as your avatar for the day of her memorial or a black square to remember her. But I, there's been so much talk about things that are not Heather. And I'd really like, at least on here, especially on that day where we would all, you know, focus on her. So I'm open to those suggestions as well. But yes, as soon as I hear more information on, on how people can show their appreciation or, you know, send flowers or whatever, I will certainly make that, make that known. We could all dress up as Ivy. Yeah, poison ivy. <laughs> Wear green lipstick. Yeah. Well, I, I've yeah, def yeah, yeah. I've definitely. Oh got, no, that's it. <laughs> I've definitely got the tits for it. So. It's your old day, days. folks. <laughs> yeah, sad, sadly, sadly, is all fucking day. Yeah, I wish you'd go away. <laughs> she um, well, she just had so many passions, you know. I mean, she had the uh, the atheist group that she was um, in charge of or was one of the people in charge of or something. Um, um, I don't remember exactly the, how the that West, worked out. The Western, 
the Western Colorado atheist and three free thinkers. Right. Lives. Yeah. And she did the, you know, she had feminism. She was a vegan. She loved animal rights. You know, I mean, mm. they were just, cause I, I don't know, because she worked a lot, but she, I don't know how you get that much time in a day. <laughs> mm. Witchcraft. No. Yeah. All right. Well, that makes sense. Mm. Yeah. yeah and it's also the whole um i guess um i don't know if we want to talk about it or just the drama side of everything that um has just been so ridiculous but uh i don't know i don't know if i'm going to talk about it yeah i think we're going to do a separate hangout maybe after i mean i have a lot of things to say too but i'd rather focus yeah. on her and us today I, um yeah yeah and, I'm, yeah oh, go sorry, ahead, I'm I know. I was mm -hmm. just going to say, um, I'm I'm going to wait until uh, all of the you know the official stuff's done, the memorials done, and and I have then to unload upon several people rounds of uh, verbal ammunition because yeah, it's unacceptable be unacceptable, unacceptable behaviour. I mean, when when it happened, I did think a lot about making a video, but then I just thought about it and I was like, nothing I have to say right now would be very constructive or useful. Uh, it would just be me, like, kind of raging out, and I'd just be kind of a mess, and I don't know who that's going to help. So, that's just like... I might have made a video... I'm going to do one, I'll do it later. I might have made a video, and it might have been featured on We Hunt the Mammoth, just saying. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I'm I'm looking through my message, my last exchange with, with Heather, I'm reading through it now, because I'd mm. sent her again pictures of me. Um, I don't think my... I could handle doing that. I don't know how you guys are doing that. Yeah, it's my... kind of... I can um, my uh, my carnival costume and we have an exchange and she's telling me you know, like oh you're not that because i was saying uh, i'm getting kind of old and and she says just keep doing the work that is important to you you will reach the people that need it <laughs> that's why i didn't want to look at look at, my, <laughs> oh, look at it <laughs> you're, you're killing me everyone i want to hug everyone and yeah. oh yeah. virtual hug yeah, yeah. And I think it's, I think I didn't expect, you said, Kevin, in your hangout today that you didn't expect it to be, yeah. you've got a lot on, but it's been a lot harder. I think because, and I was saying this to Chrissy yesterday before we came on air, if you try to describe it to people, you're know, like somebody that I know through YouTube, this mm. terrible thing has happened to, and they're like, they don't understand mm. when these things happened before it happened to your neighbor or your coworker or somebody mm. that was physically present. But to try to describe the loss of somebody who exists to you digitally, but still means so much. Yeah. Well, that, that's the thing, actually. I think it's, I think, uh, to, to broaden the topic out to something completely fucking weird, the, uh, I think we're going to have to come up with a new set of emotional responses as societies to this, because obviously in previous generations, there was no way of having these kind of communications. Mm. But yet, these people are still as real as anyone else. I, t I, I mm. talk to people online like uh, Michael or Christy or whatever, more regularly than I do people who live 50 feet away from me sometimes. Yeah. You know? Well, I mean, you so can have a first, digital wake or something, but... Well, well, human... that, well, well, That's kind of what this is. I guess it is mm. a digital wake. Yeah. I was going to say just human connection is human connection, period. And the entire reason that people invented the internet or rather like the version of the internet that we are using right now was for um, communication and connection and it's what we thrive off of and really I think that it's to me it was inevitable that people would form such strong connections through yeah. it and um, that there would still be a very strong um, tendency and people like having the ability to to bond and to be able to use their intuitions to you know like sort of read people and like what Chrissy said I mean there are some people that you can just sort of feel the type of person that they are which is why Chris uh, Chrissy just trusted her so much and I felt that coming off of her too just from watching their videos yeah so the weird thing about the internet is like 
it can be used for such good, but it can also be used for such evil. And it's, I, I, that's why I really appreciate people who use it for good. People who use it to support each other and be kind and charitable and empathetic. Because it's kind of like a choice. You can easily use the internet to just, just be a dickbag to everybody, you know? But and some people choose to use it to be kind. And that's what I appreciate. Exactly, how, Christy. How, yeah. how do you feel about people like me who use it just to waste time? <laughs> what, look at porn. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> that's a change of topic for a different topic. Is it really? Is it really a change of topic, though? I mean, I don't know. <laughs> we are on the internet. We were talking about your tits before, weren't we, Kev? So. <laughs> well, you, well, I guess yeah. That's not, not, really. the other use of it is just for like looking at pictures of puppies, cats, and mm. cats. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, whenever whenever life gets you down, just look up puppy swarms and mm. just it's, it's interesting. Go can... back and... sorry. <laughs> no, no, go ahead. I'm saying... looking at no, no, looking at let's feel melancholy in for a second. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Inter intermittently go back and forth between cute animals and porn. That's what that's basically <laughs> what uh, yeah. when I when I was at a in college, I was in a first <laughs> group, and we would always joke that the conversation would always somehow devolve into uh, topics of cute animals or porn or both. <laughs> so like, You've got like five tabs open, and three of them are memes with cute <laughs> porn. You yeah, make sure you click on make sure you click on the right one that you're looking for, otherwise. Yeah, it's, it's confusing. And yeah. Don't combine the two. Oh, it's, it's really oh God! Polyanimous. Oh, Polyanimous. Animal. But I was just going to say, like, yeah, what Christy said about forming a digital connection is kind of fascinating because I mean, I know all of you guys just through the digital medium as well, and I care about all of you too. So I mean, you know, yeah. I don't even. I don't, I've never. Well, no, not counting Michael. I met that guy. Yeah, I'm the best one. <laughs> but, uh, but everyone else here, I've never met, you know. So well, really did did New Zealand suffer some sort of, I don't know, uh, massive quake or something? Because the two, the meeting of the two greatest Kiwis together in one room <laughs> must have been. Oh my God! Earth shattering. It was. It was. Yeah. Well, it was quite we a took a photo. We took. A, there was a photo where um, Michael looked super happy, and I looked like kind of scared. And everyone was, and it was, and everyone re responded just like, "Save Tim, hashtag rescue Tim. <laughs> Is Tim okay?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but wasn't wasn't that your wedding? Yeah. Yes. I think Michael, you, have every, you have every right to be terrified, then, sure. Like Michael, that. you also <laughs> frightened him too by by giving uh, a vicarious hug for me, right? Yeah, that's right. I just sort of jumped oh, on him. He hug attacked me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I also um, I, when Tim was standing at the altar waiting um, for me to come, I was like, I had my I had my camera like zoomed in on his face real hard and I was trying to take like awkward photos of his face while he was waiting <laughs> for um for her to come and I wanted to get like yeah I wanted to get like a really awkward photo of him just being like oh god oh what no, am I doing my life's that's over <laughs> sometime in the future she's gonna take my children <laughs> <laughs> that's what I was I thinking love I love After your assets I love doing hangouts with curiosity because it's always there's always an attack of the small people at some point yeah. which is cool. in the background. Children. Yeah, attack of the oh yeah, sorry. No, attack they love the them. Yeah, they're they're like... glorious. We were talking about puppy swarms, and I imagine this is just the human version of that. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, human swarm. Yes. Well, well one of the things. Uh, uh, yes. Uh, uh, I think another uh, thing that makes it. Weird. Who are like bizarre? <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I love you, Michael. You know <laughs> um, guys, just give me one minute, okay? Okay. Okay. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Get out of town. Call me a five or something. <laughs> Stop uh, manipulating your children by having them on a hangout. Yeah, well, so, and just reasoning with them and going, could I have just two minutes? And like, okay. I love the fact that she was, she was being ever so, ever so polite. But I imagine if she wasn't on camera, that conversation might have been a bit more brusque, a bit more. Uh, oh, I don't know. It seems no, like... no, I'm not really. Like, you no, know, that's not true. Just, 
Fuck off. Leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> evil bastards. That's Why? actually your mic. Why would I could not do like that? <laughs> Kevin, Kevin can just make an app so that like Chrissy can access it when her kids are being naughty and she can just be like Kevin like yelling at them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, just, just, just get a picture of my face and just go, if you keep behaving like this, you'll end up like this fucking loser. Kevin's kid control. That could be the name of the app and you press a button and it's just like, fuck off. <laughs> fuck off out of it. Yeah. You little cunts. Fuck off out of it. Yeah. Also, um, well, I don't want to bring it down again, but to bring no, the conversation back. Yeah. Depressing things. And yeah. uh, this is kind this, of unrelated, this, but Chris this is Cornell what you're, this died. Is what you're Chris Cornell died. Ah, oh, don't get me started. And uh, I've been listening to his music oh, for the last three days. Tim, Jeez. this is why you're number two Kiwi, mate. You can't be <laughs> crazy. Is that right? This is why we can't have nice things, Tim. I we guess. should say though. We should say to that. He was an amazing vocalist. Give our yeah. love to Harley. Oh, and oh yeah. Give our love to Laura. Yeah. Um, yeah. And her family and and, and Chris Cornell. <laughs> exactly. yeah. Even though so I, never knew that guy, but, yeah. I never knew that guy. Tim is the killer of the owner. <laughs> Yeah, he guys, just had, um, well, we have been going for about an hour, um, and we feel really. it feels like we filled it up. But um, I just I wish awesome people would stop dying. To be honest, it's really yeah. irritating. It's well, really irritating is the wrong word. Pills. Hard, a harsher it. word than irritating. It's just sucks. Well, this this yeah. is the thing. Without getting too hardcore atheist about it, it's difficult to think of a loving God that allows Chris Cornell and Har and uh, Poison Ivy to die, but allows. Dodge Rails to reach 72. Fuck off. Yeah. Uh, good point. <laughs> we have proven there is I no think, God. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, certainly. Well, I think we, yeah, go on, sorry. Well, that's all right. I was just going to say. Um, you know what really... Uh, Heather touched all of our lives in a way that brought us together. And, you know, as atheists, we keep her alive. Yeah. 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 Sorry, guys. I I am the no, one bringing this, it down. No, yeah. I, I, I just personally like to say thank you to Christy for having the strength yeah. to do this. Yeah. This has clearly moved her enormously. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Christy. Love you, Christy. Well, I I oh, definitely appreciate it. No, well, thanks, you guys. Well, I wanted to be able to say my my experience with Heather, and um, just not sure if I could have done it in my own video, so I appreciate yeah. being able to talk, talk to all of you about it. We're yeah. all so far apart, but we're all going through a lot of the same pain. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So so what I think I'll do now is um, I'm going to wrap up the live show. We can stay off air and have a chat after this now that we're all in the room and together. Um, but I think this was what we came to do, which is to... Sorry, Chris Yassi, I'm going to mute you for a second. Shut up, Chris Yassi. Yeah, life goes on. Michael, shut up. <laughs> Michael, stop, Michael, stop revealing the script for my next video, for fuck's sake. He does a better, <laughs> does a better kids impression than the actual kids. <laughs> Christy's trying to do this like really decorum laden <laughs> thing, and you guys are just yeah. Right. You're right, so I think what well, why, you know. why did she invite me and Roland's on then? That was never yeah. Gonna happen. <laughs> you Come two on. in a room yeah. is always a mistake, but um, <laughs> yeah, I think you know um, Heather. Heather touched all of our lives and our hearts, and she's. I know a lot of people in my comment section on the announcements are in shock and horror too. So I hope that listening to us. And hearing the stories will kind of help them vicariously. Uh, I want to also, I'll just before anyone else talks, I want to thank all of my guests uh, for coming, for sharing, and I'm not going to let them get a word in edgewise. We can talk in the, we can talk off air. But for those of you who stuck around, um, please, if you want to leave some of your memories of Heather, go ahead and do so in the comments. Um, we're all going to miss her terribly. And again, when I hear more information on the, the wishes of the family, I will certainly pass those on in the video. So, uh, signing off, and if everyone, I guess I'll let you talk now, If and I'll put Chrissy back on, if you guys just want to do a big, massive goodbye and uh, farewell to those of uh, all of you, all of the people who are watching who, who also are going to miss Heather. So, 
Bye. Much love. Bye. Bye. Much love. Bye. Bye. Bye.